There is, of course, a historic drought. Uh, it, it, we've never seen a bigger one. Uh, the toughest in recorded history. The worst they believe in tree rings in 1,200 years. Yet, uh, that's not the root of the real problem. The real problem is we haven't tackled a lot of issues and we frankly don't have a sustainable system uh, with or without a drought going into the future. We've had the luxury of having enough water, even though people felt scarcity at time, to be able to gloss over some of the conflicts. But I think this drought has really shown that we have to really rethink it in a way. And that's not just dealing with enough water for the ecosystem that's in horrible shape, dealing with agriculture, which is critical to the future of California, and the disadvantaged community members who don't have access to clean, safe, and reliable water. It's unfortunate that our country operates this way now. There has to be a crisis in order for people to make good decisions. I think it's in our national interest to have a proactive approach to our food supply, not a reactive approach. To us in the U.S., the San Joaquin Valley should be, you know, front and center in terms of understanding what's going to happen to our nation's water and food and agriculture and communities. This is not a minor part, it's a major part of who we are as a country. Water is essential for food, and we're not making that connection. There's been a tremendous focus on climate change, and there's been a renewed interest in food security. But inherent to food security is water security. It's a, it's a matter of national security, a matter of national concern, uh, because we have right here in California, we're blessed to have the food basket of the, of the nation. The food that's produced in the San Joaquin Valley is consumed all across the country. So this isn't a California-centric issue. This issue is in the best interest of all Americans. We have become very used to the luxury of abundant and inexpensive food. If our delivery system and agricultural system fails, food will become phenomenally expensive and it can bring our economy to its knees. We know what we have here. We are growing food in California to some of the highest environmental and labor standards in the world. Versus other countries, they don't practice, and it isn't law to practice the safest standards for food production. At what point will we finally say, let's take a step back and readjust how we see California agriculture? Ultimately, we need to understand the very important thing, the linkage between science, engineering, technology, and national security, social stability, economic growth and prosperity. And the interface between those two things is policy. And so I think this policy space is an area that we are generally uh, very, very weak in at, at, at global level. California is kind of at this teetering point where we could go in that direction, which is where we need to go. And if we don't, the, the, then, then, we, then most of these adjustments will be made in terms of harsh downsizing of our agricultural economy in ways that are punitive to hundreds of thousands of families.